The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd, there are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, You hypocrites! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated. And the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. I have always found it a very important and fulfilling part of my ministry to hear confessions and to be the instrument of God's healing and forgiveness for people who are troubled. And one of the difficult things for me and troubling things for me, I would say one of the sad things is when a person will come and confess in a way that they are really disturbed by this, that they missed Mass on Sunday because they had to take care of a sick child or sick spouse or sick um, parent uh, or some other duty of compassion and love. And sometimes it was very difficult to say, you know, your primary duty was the act of compassion and fulfilling your responsibility for uh, service to the person in need. Compared with that, fulfilling the obligation of Sunday Mass is secondary, not primary. You are doing the Lord's work by doing His work. And some people, I hate to say it, but that simply did not speak to them. They felt that they were guilty because they had broken that commandment, that law. And it became very difficult for them to see that there was the higher commandment, the commandment of charity and compassion and duty towards those who are in need. And what makes me most sad is the fact that there was actually, in many places, in many times, Catholic education that basically taught that priority, that above all was the external fulfillment of the uh, commandment of uh, attending Mass on, on Sunday, and everything else had to be secondary. And if you didn't do that, of course, you committed a mortal sin. 
And so for truly good, conscientious, faithful people to be accusing themselves of a mortal sin, which was not merited by God's law or even the law of the church, was to me sadly a distortion that had been somehow imposed upon them. And it was very much like what Jesus is dealing with here, where many of the religious leaders upheld the primacy of the uh, external laws regarding obligations of performance of outward uh, duty, like holding the Sabbath. Those are not unimportant, but they didn't seem to realize that there are more important things that that duty has to take second place for. For us here and now, I think the, the lesson is let's continue to pray for the gift of seeing things in right order, seeing things in the eyes of God, who assured us in what we saw as the response, response of the psalm today, telling us to behave like God as his very dear children. God loves all of his children, and the primary responsibility that we have is to discover ways of showing that love, reflecting that love, in our lives for one another.